According to a recent 2012 survey, 59% of businesses are already making line of business applications accessible from mobile devices. And 71% of businesses have plans to deploy custom mobile applications in the immediate future. Mobile applications is also one of the top two strategic technologies for most, for most Fortune 500 enterprises in 2012. And corporate spend on mobile project is projected to grow by 100% clearly a huge disruptive force in the market. For IT and the line of business stakeholders, mobile represents a completely new paradigm and a major management challenge as well. And with the business users embracing bring your own device, IT is quickly losing control of managing the end user experience of critical business apps, while at the same time being tasked with ensuring the success of their company's mobile strategy. So Attorney's mobile FPI platform addresses these specific challenges, effectively closing what we call the mobile visibility gap by providing a comprehensive monitoring platform for all types of iOS and Android applications irrespective of their delivery mechanism. In other words, virtually delivered mobile apps, native mobile apps, and mobile web apps. In addition, Eternity continuously collects detailed device network and service metrics that are often the source of mobile application performance and availability problems. With this deep visibility, IT organizations can proactively detect performance issues, rapidly isolate mobile specific problems, and dramatically reduce the mean time to repair. And finally, by leveraging an approach that unifies physical, virtual, and mobile end user experience management in a single platform, Today's IT organizations can support the rise of mobile apps and BYOD initiatives with the same platform that will support their Windows 7 and VDI initiatives. Let's talk a little bit about how Eternity provides the industry's simplest and I believe fastest way to instrument native, native mobile and mobile web applications for a moment. For native apps, Eternity's breakthrough technology provide a completely automated, one-click, binary instrumentation process. This is performed before the application is deployed to the enterprise private app store or provisioning server. For mobile web apps, Eternity's dynamic JavaScript injection delivers the simplest and fastest instrumentation methodology for HTML5 apps. And finally, for mobile app developers, Eternity's mobile SDK dramatically simplifies the instrumentation process as it doesn't require developers to define the business context or specific transactions or transactional boundaries they want to monitor. And once these apps are instrumented and being monitored, Eternity's analytics engine identifies in real time the contributing factors impacting mobile application performance, whether they be due to poor Wi-Fi connectivity or cellular network strength low power mode or CPU load, target server issues or slow URL, or even maxed out storage or a specific OS version, for example. So Ravi, let's demonstrate our Eternity Mobile FBI platform does all of this and more. You ready, Rav? Yeah. Okay, let's switch to the system. Great. We're currently viewing the endpoint or user search form of the Eternity Management Console. The whole demo is live, so good luck, Ravi. Yep. <laughs> this form enables the help desk, IT operations, and application owners to rapidly search for any end user device, including physical workstations, Citrix or terminal servers, virtual desktops or Citrix sessions, and of course, mobile devices. Note the organizational information attached to each user that is integrated from the corporate directory. Ravi, mean, let's sort by type and focus on mobile users for this demo. Yeah, let's drill down into Lewis's endpoint dashboard. Let me switch for yesterday because that's when I was not working with this device today. Great, the line okay. is always good. All right. The first thing we can see from Lewis's dashboard is that he's using a mobile device as opposed to a laptop or accessing a session on a Citrix box or using a virtual desktop. We also see information about Lewis's device, including the carrier, the operating system, in this case Android 3.1, and his geographic 
location, which happens to be his office address. The dashboard also provides us with a time machine, enabling us to get a real-time snapshot or historical view of Lewis's status at any time, and that's what Ravi did going back to yesterday. A quick glance shows us that Lewis is using two mobile applications and having some major issues with mobile email. Clicking on any of the highlighted status blocks shows us the actual activity measurements for Lewis's mobile email application and their deviation from either the automatically generated performance baseline or manually set thresholds. In this case, we see that the send message took over 12 seconds. Really poor end user experience for Lewis, rather. Drilling down into the host resources view will help us identify where the device network or service issues are responsible for the poor mobile email performance Lewis is experiencing. We immediately see that the signal strength of both the mobile and Wi-Fi network are fine. However, the mobile CPU load, there we go, and frequency have peaked. While at the same time, available memory and battery levels, yeah, all look fine. So Ravi, let's go back to the CPU level graph where we saw the actual spike. When clicking on the CPU spike, the top process list below is filtered accordingly. And we immediately see that the CPU benchmark process is the cause for high CPU, affecting the overall performance, including the mobile email application. Now, let's take a look at this correlation between poor send mail performance and CPU from a totally different vantage point. Go to the Performance Navigator. The Performance Navigator is a Turley's primary visualization tool used to slice and dice end user performance metrics any way you wish in real time as well as providing historical views. For the second part of today's demo, we've selected a few pre-saved templates or queries in our repository. These queries are created in less than a minute using the analysis view of the Navigator and then saved in the repository for viewing at a later time automatic email distribution. So this particular chart shows the navigator's ability to trend any type of message, any type of measurement in a single chart in order to correlate performance metrics and understand impact. We can see the activity response for mobile email and Google Docs together with the device CPU load and, for example, the network transmission speed. The spike shows a direct correlation, though, between the send message response time and the CPU load. Now let's take a look at another example from the repository. Okay. This time focused on operating system comparison. Great. In this chart, we're comparing the end user performance of the mobile email application between two Android, Android OS versions, 2.3.5 and 3.1. We clearly see that in this specific example, the 2.3.5 version actually performs better. Especially the other way around. The other way around? The 3.1 performs. 3.1 performs better, I can't even see from here, the 3.1 yeah, the performs better than the 235 version. Now what's important is that grouping by mobile operating system is only an example. We could have grouped by device make, by SSID, or location, for example. Correct, Ravi? Yep. Financial services and healthcare are the two verticals leading the bring your own device charge. And most of the leading electronic health record application providers have mobile app initiatives well underway. Let's take a look at performance by location activity for our demo mobile EHR application. The chart shows the response for each activity or clinical workflow by user location. The y-axis represents response time in seconds for each clinical workflow performed by the users, and the x-axis represents their location. You can switch the activities and locations to slide and dive metrics differently. Now we see the response of each location group by activity. What we immediately see is that the response time of login and search patient is slowest in New York, almost twice as slow as the rest of the location. And as before, analysis by location is only an example, as we could have grouped by department, role, or machine type, for example. Now let's focus the next use case on quality of service as opposed to response time metrics. The Attorney SPI platform's analytics engine normalizes the performance of multiple measurement types, multiple different measurement types, in fact, to a single percentile score. 
that they can be compared against each other. In other words, it enables apples to oranges comparison. The quality of service map you're looking at shows the quality of service score on the x-axis. And the 50th percentile represents the organized organizational average or the norm. Higher percentages represent poor quality of service, and lower percentage scores represent better than average service. The size of the bubble represents the volume of activity performed for each group. The larger the bubble, the higher the level of business impact. What we see is that users from California are experiencing the worst overall quality of service for this EHR application. Drilling down into California, we can see the quality of service for each activity in this location. Login, open note, and submit note are performing within the baseline from, the, from this location. However, search patient is almost at the 80th percentile. Clicking on the search patient activity shows that the Citrix server used for this activity from this location, which tells us that users from California utilizing this application and this Citrix server or having the worst overall performance in the company. That's great stuff. Thank you, Ravi. Most of Eternity's customers are large Citrix users, and many of them are now at different stages of their desktop, desktop virtualization initiatives. So what this next chart that Ravi is going to show you shows is how the clinical manager application performs in a virtual desktop environment compared to a physical desktop environment. We can quickly see that the performance in the virtual environment is at least as good as the physical environment. That's really good news for this virtualization initiative with this application. Mm -hmm. For our last demo, Ravi, let's look at something that's more desktop focused for a change. Let's look at Outlook. Here we see the performance of Microsoft Outlook broken down by operating system types. In this case, XP 32-bit, Win 7 32-bit, and Win 7 64-bit. We immediately see that users with Windows XP 32-bit have slower Outlook performance than Win 7 32 or 64-bit operating systems. These kind of validations are helping organizations confidently move forward with their Windows 7 and VDI and mobile application initiatives. And that's the whole notion of a unified end-user experience approach. Our final demo today will showcase Eternity's real-time problem detection and root cause analysis capabilities, again focused this time on mobile. The Eternity Incident Dashboard that you're looking at displays all end-user impacted incidents within the organization at this time. For each incident, we see the impact severity, a unique ID, the time the incident was detected, the application and associated activities or transactions or workflows that are impacted, and the number of impacted endpoints and the current state of the incident. Currently, we see that we have incidents detected for Outlook, the mobile electronic health record app, and the online banking application. Ravi, let's drill down into the electronic health record incident and see the impact analysis details of the incident. Yep. The pie chart shows us that about a quarter of the total EHR user population, electronic health record user population, is impacted. By default, endpoints are grouped by location, but we can also group by department or subnet, office, or other attributes such as operating system, machine type, browser type, power users, second shift users, etc. Grouping by subnet shows that the impacted users come mostly, yep, come mostly from a single subnet, a single location. An indication that the problem might very well be network related. So let's see what the cause actually is and look at the proper cause analysis tab. The cause analysis for the incident points to multiple probable causes sorted by probability. The top probability indeed points to a specific subnet. This is because the majority of impacted users are from the subnet and very few of the non-impacted users are coming from the same subnet. Now that we understand the cause of the problem, Let's dig deeper into the timelines of the incident and exactly who is impacted. Mm -hmm. yep. Moving the time machine bar across the incident dynamically updates all the incident impact analysis components on the form, such as the table view of impacted endpoints below. 
We can expand the detail level to get to a view of the incident timeline for each endpoint transaction. We can immediately see the status of measurement of that endpoint throughout the lifetime of the incident. Clicking on any of the highlighted status blocks shows us the actual activity or transaction or workflow measurement for that endpoint and their deviation from either the automatically generated baseline, which we didn't have time to discuss today, Rabin, or the manually set threshold. From here, we can either go to the navigator for further analysis, which you've seen, or to the endpoint dashboard. And now we're back at the endpoint dashboard where we started today's demo initially. Rabbi, thank you very much. My pleasure. In the short time we have today, hopefully we're able to demonstrate how Atari's mobile FPI platform offers the deepest and broader support for all types of iOS and Android applications, native, mobile web apps, and Citrix or VDI delivered apps, while also demonstrating how Eternity uniquely unifies end-user experience management across mobile, virtual, and physical desktop environments. This is indeed the vision of end-user experience unplugged, the ability to monitor end-user experience for any transaction on any device, anywhere, at any time, with a single massively scalable platform. So in closing, let's speak a few words about the platform and its architecture. The Authority FBI platform is built from a set of loosely coupled services that are tightly integrated, allowing it to scale both vertically and horizontally. All services can be run on a single dual CPU Wintel Linux box supporting deployment of up to 8,000 endpoints and scale massively to support tens of thousands of endpoints by using separate servers for the aggregation, analytics, and management services. I believe our latest benchmarks are approaching the 100,000 mark. The entire Eternity FPI platform takes 90 minutes to install. Configuration, administration, and integration are all performed centrally from the management console. Thank you all very much for taking the time to learn more about Eternity. I hope that we've successfully shared with you how Eternity can unplug your mobile strategy as well as your end user experience management initiatives. 